Hey guys, the objective today is to reduce the trigger or the pull weight on the trigger. So what you have to do is remove the pins from the trigger pivot and the sear pivot. There's C-clips on the back side. So you remove those C-clips and then you pull out the trigger pin first. The trigger pin will release the trigger. You pull that out of the trigger. This is the sear pin. So now you take off a C clip on the trigger pivot and you can pop that pin out. Once you pop those two pins out the safety spring will come off with it. This is a picture of the trigger with the two C clips, the safety spring and the two pins. Now that that's removed you have to remove the safety itself to get the sear out. There's a little clip, spring clip on the back that holds that pin in. So you use a screwdriver or something to push that pin out of the way, then you can easily remove the safety from the back side, just pulling it out. That's what it looks like when it's out of the trigger assembly. This, now you can remove your sear, that's what it looks like. And the spring to the far left is the one we want to take a few coils off of. Or maybe about one coil, because we don't want to reduce the weight too much. But you can also adjust the weight by adjusting the Allen screw that adds trigger pull weight to it. If you cut too much off, you can adjust it that way. But you always want to remember not to cut too much. Just take uh, one coil off. That's probably good enough. And the reassembling is just uh, the opposite of disassembly. So you put your sear in first, then your safety. Once the safety's in, you can put the trigger assembly back in and then the two pins with the safety spring. And on the back side, you just reinstall the two C-clips that hold the pins in and your trigger job is complete. And if it's too light of a trigger pull from there, you can just adjust the Allen screw to add more tension. I only took one coil off on mine, so it basically made it perfect. And now we'll do some range videos and see if it helped accuracy at all. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's how you adjust the trigger on a Savage Mark II that doesn't have the AccuTrigger. Thanks.